Good morning, guys. I'm just here to do a quick vlog. So I'm gonna just like vlog all day. Um, yeah, look at that. It's like looking all gnarly. Because of the weather today, it's like kind of cold. So, <laughs> anyways, I can see myself in the finder. Anyway, so um, <laughs> it's kind of cold today. And so it's got like electrical static. Is it like sticking? I don't know if you guys can see this. Anyways, it's like sticking to my hand. Okay, fun things. Anyway, so hey, today I have a busy day. Um, let's see what's going on. Um, I have like some running around to do, some errands and stuff like that. So I just thought um, it's been a while since I checked in and I thought it'd be cool to do a quick, you know, a quick vlog, take you through my day. So um, I don't know if I'm taking you through the full day yet or not, we'll just see. Okay, so as far as me, I'm about to have my morning shake. I like to start my day off with my shake. Um, some water, uh, possibly some fruit, just to kick off the day, and then I probably will have something else that will follow it pretty quick. Um, however, I am cooking something for someone else. I don't know if you see that in the background, that little pot. Yes, it is on. It's on right now, and I'm just cooking something, so that's me right now. By the way, um, I've already uh, done my brushing and my teeth. I took my bath, you know, my shower and everything. I'm deodorant on, all my good stuff. So I already did the morning stuff. If you haven't seen me do some of that stuff, go check out my uh, vlog from earlier. And it, it's just basically a, um, a morning vlog of my routine and stuff like that. So this is not that. This is just taking you through my day and different things that happen. Okay, so as I'm waiting for that thing to cook over there, um, I noticed that my eyes like red. Oh my goodness, when I was washing my hair earlier today, my eyes just started stinging because of the shampoo. Oh my God, it was, it was fun. So I'm gonna um, use this really quick. I don't know if everybody else is like, they freak out when it happens, not me. Um, I used to be an, a licensed optician. So for me, it's like, every day at the office. Oh, I'm gonna do the other side so it's not like one super bright eye and not the other one. Just, you know, a little fun fact. Um, if you put your eye drops in the refrigerator, I don't have mine stored there because they're not like bother me or anything, but if you need like something to soothe your eye or anything, or if you have like extra dry eyes, um, it's a really good idea to throw that into the refrigerator and let it chill for like a couple minutes or just store them in there and it really refreshes your eyes. So fun fact, that is a optician's trick. So let's say that you were on the computer all day or you get something in your eye or whatever it is, it's a nice trick and you can really soothe your eye, soothe your eyes and that is something that opticians know so it's a cool trick so I'm passing it on. Another little fun fact, I used to be the uh, person who would train people on how to put contacts in and everything. I was like the go-to girl. So I may do a video, like, you know, just kind of touching in on opticians, because I used to work as an optician. So um, I may do a couple of videos that just, you know, focus on different things that I know and different knowledge that I have of being an optician and like, you know, like tricks to look for, uh, when you should definitely go, uh, what's a, if you like scratch your eye and you're like, oh my God, it's like totally burning. It feels like a cut or something like that. I can always talk about all that stuff. If you guys want me to do that, I will, because like I have the knowledge, um, I studied, I did it and I did it for a few years and um, I was licensed. So if you want me to do that, I'll totally do it. I mean, cause I love talking about the eyes and stuff like that. Um, what I didn't love, here's the tea, was um, just that uh, it also was in cells. So sometimes people, it's kind of uh, like sharky, like whew, they're like always trying to make their cells and stuff. So when you get in an environment like that, sometimes it's not so healthy. However, a lot of the people were really nice, um, but some of the people were very about that, you know, like backstabby stuff. So that wasn't for me. And there's the tea on that. All right, let me see. Um, buh, 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 buh. What else is going on today? I have no idea. So I'll be back when I actually have something going on. And yeah, all right. So I'm just gonna make my uh, protein shake and throw that together. 
Um, I always like to start off my day with that because, I don't know, it just uh, balances out my system and everything else and makes sure I'm okay. I've been fortunate. I've never had an issue where my stomach wasn't like, you know, processing right or anything like that. So the shake I have, it's a superfood shake. It's not a protein shake. So it's not like one of those, oh, it's going to bulk you up or anything like that. It basically, it's just going to make sure you have the nutrition you need for the day, like the whole thing. Like, oh my goodness, I don't want to misquote this or anything, but I think they said it was like, um, like eight trips to salad bar but it's not like just veggies and stuff like that it's just stuff that you need and it's from all over the place and stuff like that anyways commercial over no <laughs> seriously though um it's just really i notice a difference and so i like to start my day with that the other thing i like to do i like to do personal development i like to like read different things or listen to different things as like i'm going about doing different things let's say I have to like full clothes or if I have to take out dishes or if I have to cook like right now most of the time I would have that um push, yeah, personal development going on um you know stuff like that so I don't know what's your thing um sometimes I do affirmations in the morning I do those a lot I like read them more okay let me just go over here and check this and make sure it's warm uh, no it has a couple more minutes on it let me set the timer Oh my god. Does anybody else see that start the thing when you're like trying to set the timer? Okay, anyway. Okay, so I've set the timer and everything else and I'm just gonna kind of walk a little bit. So I'm sitting on my couch and just waiting for the timer to go off. Um, so what was it talking about? Let me go find out. Okay, I remember I hit the thing on there. Okay, so this morning, something that I ended up doing, I ended up, um, I ended up just listening to a bunch of songs I really like doing that and then I also researched a few different things um, I like to also go pop by some of my favorite uh, my favorite um, people like you know like social media accounts and stuff like that that are just positive like fitness ones or um, you know like uh, doing stuff oh my god so it is time it's time for me to go get the stuff so I'm gonna do that right now okay so do -do 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 -do. let's burn it over there all right all right um, this is ready, so <laughs> turn that off and get that ready. So I'm gonna shut it off for a second just so I can do that. And you put that in there. Ah. <laughs> mm, yeah. So anyway, since I have a family member who's not doing so hot right now, um, so um, my sister Chloe Quinn and I um, take care of them and make sure that everything's okay. And so right now I'm making some soup and <laughs> what am I doing? I'm like chopping up the noodles so it's like small, but anyway, it smells very good. The soup is delicious. This person's not on like a special diet or anything, but this is just what they're craving today. So this is what I'm making first thing this morning. Uh, okay. All right. Awesome. Okay, now that I got that straight, the point here is um, when you have somebody who might not be doing so well or anything else, um, I don't know if this helps anybody else, but for me, so I'm not like um, upset or all the time, um, I uh, think about, you know, staying in the present and staying in the now, and that takes me to um, other things, just thinking, period, because like if you think about your present and your now and stuff, a lot of the times you realize you're not borrowing trouble from the future like you're like oh it could go like this because it's not you don't ever know how that is you can just stay like right in that moment and if you stay in that moment you can stay present and happy and so that's what I do so I don't know what you guys do period um sick family member or not you depending upon what's going on with you you, you know you have an opportunity to do something like that so um you have an opportunity to stay in the present and just really focus on that and just be happy so that is what i choose to do um i'd be curious to see what you guys choose to do and i would love to know that because <laughs> i always like to think about different things and how to be in a positive headspace in other news kind of switching gears a little bit um i am super happy i'm getting a lot of results i don't know if you guys can like really see it but i know that for me um i have this little thing where on mondays or early in the week i take like a picture of myself to see you know any changes whatever and i put them side by side or i'll stand in the bathroom and i'll kind of look and check out my shoulders check out you know different things and just see you know things that you personally notice um 
also like you know the chin's getting you know less here um face is like i'm like oh my god i'm almost like you know like me high school me or not so much that because that girl she was she was um thinner but she did not have like you know um i don't know explain it i don't know where i was gonna go with that so we're just gonna zip off that but she was not um she was like you know she might have had acne not bad acne i never have bad acne i mean i do have some situations going on right here but that's just because i had some stuff that i knew would break me out but i had a taste for it so that's me that's french fries showing up on my face right here because i had a taste for some french fries the other day and so i ate them and i had a cheat day it's not i don't ever like saying cheat day so i had a treat day so i did that um i'm basically just talking 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 he's this note behind me um it's just a note that helps me remember something i have to do before i have to apply something before 10 o'clock um <clears throat> so i don't forget do you guys like leave notes for yourself i don't know but i do so i'm gonna go ahead and run this back to that person and i'll be back okay so anyways different things uh occurred this morning there's certain things that i have to do and um sometimes when you have like a busy day and stuff like that you have to really you know like focus you can either focus on oh my god all the things that you've got to do or you can stay in the present and just be happy in that moment and just live in the now so that's what i'm choosing to do okay so the other day i went so i'm making my breakfast now um the other day i well, I didn't go to Costco, but I made a list. And so when uh, Chloe was at Costco, she got some frozen fruit. Um, these strawberries are so good. Um, and then some raspberries, so raspberries and strawberries and stuff. Oh, no. Okay. I just, like, spilled out on the counter. I'm just glad I didn't put the milk in there yet. All right. It smells good, you guys. It smells like a fruit roll-up. Oh my god, that smells so good. Anyway, so I use uh, containers to measure out like my fruit and everything. However, oh no, this is gonna stay in my hand. So hold on a second, let me go wash this. Off. All right, so I got that in there. So I'm just making this up. Um, so yeah, it did not stay in my hand. Okay, so the other day, uh, Chloe went to um, uh, Costco. Mm, I drink soy milk. Some people don't, but I do because almond does not work for me. As anybody can do almond, good for you. I think that's awesome. Okay, so I like to put um, a little tea in my. Okay, so I do a lot of things to do my shake, and I realize it's probably boring, so I'm not going to talk about it over and over again. So anyway, so today I've got like a big list ahead of me. I have a lot of stuff that I have to do today. I have some appointments this morning. I have um, a newsletter to kick out as far as um, my romance readers. And um, I've already done some touch-ins this morning. It's been a busy morning already, and it is going to be a busy day altogether. So I have to take care of something. I have to put on gloves and stuff and some medication. And so I will be back. Okay, so anyways, I'm done with that. I am back and making my own breakfast now. Um, I really love having the shakes because, well, <laughs> that makes my day very, very easy because I don't have to go, okay, what am I going to eat? And then I get hungry later and all that other stuff. Anyway, so last night I was really happy. I was watching some shows. It was um, 911, and that show is really good. It was really good. It's the one with the tsunami and stuff. I'm excited. It was really good. Um, and I have some. Hey, guys. So right now um, <sighs> it's before I have to run and do some of the appointments and I have a moment where I can take a quick nap so I'm gonna take a quick nap because it's gonna be a very long day and so I'm just kind of crashed out I'm actually sleeping on my couch so I don't get too comfortable and then I like miss what I need to do so that's what I'm doing right now so I'll check back in and by the way another reason why I'm taking a nap right now is because um, I pulled an all-nighter and the schedule is like kind of crazy right now so I have to um, you know get catnaps where I can so I'm on opposite sleep schedules of my sister because the two of us are swapping off so that we can take care of the sick family member. So it's very intense. And so right now I am on like early morning nights and stuff. So that's what I do. And with my crazy writing schedule, um, I have to write and so I write at night. And so I just do a lot of writing at night. So that's another reason I'm like up late. So there's that. All right, so the phone rang and it woke me up and so you know the last like two minutes that you could be sleeping i'm one of those people that if i get woken up it takes me a long time to get back to sleep kind of ish i don't know it depends on but 
I had to walk across the room. What is going on with my blue wings? See that? It's cute. So right now I still have a couple minutes where I can um, do something else. So I'll probably just like, you know, listen to more of like some personal development or something like that because I don't have enough time to go back to sleep. But then I do need to be awake now and all that stuff. So there's that. So anyways, um, now that I'm feeling like a little more awake and everything else, um, I uh, did like a check in with some of my uh, groups, my reader groups and um, hangout groups and stuff like that. And so um, that was good because I was awake to do that. And so I had some time to do that. And then um, now I'm going to knock out a little bit of writing before I have to head off to my appointment. So there I go. So I'm about to get my uh, flu shot. I wasn't planning to, but I'm at Costco and they're doing them. So I'm just gonna do it real quick. And they have like a whole bunch of questions and yeah, so here we go. All right, so I'm just waiting to have that done. And like I said, I wasn't expecting it. So now I'm kind of getting hyped, but not really. So here we go. And that's what happens when you go to Costco with Wednesday. She likes to like, make sure you get poked or something. <laughs> that's code for I'm here with my sister. Thanks, Chloe. <laughs> so she's getting all ready. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just waiting just a little bit longer and a little nervous, but not really. It's totally fine. Um, <laughs> she's laughing. My sister is laughing right now. This is funny. She's the one who laughed when we got the tattoos, so whatever. She giggled like it tickled. I mean, it didn't hurt me either, but you get what I mean. Okay, so I totally survived and it was fine. It wasn't even bad. <laughs> so go get your shots. Okay, so that was very interesting. After Costco, um, we got everything out of there, but when we were leaving Costco, we had a double item, so we had to, uh, we just got a second one of it. It was like paper towels or something, so um, what's funny is we were debating if we should get two or should get one, we just got two, um, and then we just like did that stuff, so that was that. And then we went to go get lunch, and so we picked up lunch, and um, we went through there, and that was fine. Um, the person in front of us um, drove off without their fries, so we pulled up, and then we had to back up. It was just, it was quite fun. It's interesting. And then when we got back here, um, our garage had like all this like dishwashers and stuff like that, like all this maintenance stuff. So. We had to walk over to the office. Well, I did. I walked over to the office, told them, hey, you guys, you know, which is not too far. Anyway, um, <laughs> hey, you guys, you accidentally have this in the thing. And they're moving it out right now while we're eating lunch. And then we're going to go get everything from Costco and bring it in. Thank goodness we only have, like, paper products right now. So no big deal. But all in all, this has been a very, 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 very interesting, interesting day toward, like, after. Ooh, and like I said in the store, I'm not sure if you heard me, but the shot went great. Here it is, that's my arm, woo! And it is done, it, it wasn't painful at all. I don't know, I was thinking it was gonna go deeper or something, but it just like went to the surface, so it was fine. So if you guys have to get your shot, do it, it's no big deal, okay. Okay, so update, all this stuff is out of our garage, so now we were able to park, move, the car back in, and we are able to move all of our stuff in from Costco, so we are inside. I'm gonna show you the hall right now. Yep, that is my dog barking in the back. So he just walked in from bringing everything in. And this is the haul. Okay guys, so um, now it is much later. Uh, lots of hours have gone by. I did some work. Um, I am calling it for my writing for tonight. Um, I uh, set up some different things as far as publicity for writing, promotions and stuff. And I finished running some errands and um, I ordered some food. Okay, another fun thing about the food. I actually had them deliver it. Um, today's one of my treat days, so I'm having a good time. So I got some Wingstop, and when they were delivering it, they <laughs> always, whenever like we have someone deliver the food um, from like, um, like a Postmates, like a um, Dash kind of place, Anyway, they, I don't know what it is. Some people either get it right or they don't because like we have a super easy address, but a lot of times when they come to drop it off, they just can't find it. So today is one of those days. I was like out, in and out, in and out, in and out, and like flagged them down and everything else. So we got our food, so yay. 
Okay guys, uh, that is all I have for today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed watching. I'm gonna go enjoy a night of TV and hang out a little bit. About to watch some NCIS um, New Orleans. And so I am going to say good night. Thanks for watching. It was a busy day, it was a good day, and I hope that you enjoyed following me along. Um, I'll be back with another one soon.